Do you want to display your Zoom meetings on a big screen TV instead of a smaller laptop or desktop computer? I'm going to show you how in this video. So you can see here, this is a Zoom meeting with my family, and it's really great to be able to display everybody on a big TV instead of just looking at a little laptop. And also if you are looking, if you're in an office and you're going back to work after COVID and some people are in the office, but some people are still gonna be connected via Zoom, having a big TV on the wall of your meeting room is a great option. So there may be other ways to do this if you've got a smart TV, but what I'm doing is something that'll work on just about any TV, the most simple method. And everything I, that I'm going to be talking about in this video, you'll find links down below. Using those links will support my YouTube channel and making more videos like this. And I'm just going to go through the different pieces that you can use to connect up this setup. So in this setup, I've actually got two things going on. One is the HDMI cable from the computer to the TV for the audio and the video. And the second thing is I do have a separate webcam up here so that you can look at the TV, you're looking kind of in the eye line of the people that you're watching. You're not looking off to the side. So if you are watching this after the COVID crisis is over and webcams are back in stock, this is my favorite webcam. This is the Logitech C920, very similar to the C922. You can get those over, there'll be a link down below for those two but it's nice to just be able to have this in the middle of your screen instead of having to look off screen at a laptop computer or whatnot that has a webcam built in. Now, if you don't already have a webcam, it's really hard to get one during COVID-19. They're just not out there available anymore. So really we're gonna talk mostly about getting the video and the audio over to the TV. How you make this connection is really gonna depend on your laptop computer. I've got a MacBook Pro here and it has USB-C connections. There's some other types of connections. So really you'll have to look at your computer and what connections you have to determine what adapter you need. I'll have some uh, information in the description though with some suggestions there. For mine with the USB-C connections it comes down to this adapter here and you can see that I've got the webcam plugged into the side because it's a USB and then down in the bottom I've got this connected to just a straight HDMI cable. So your computer may have a port that looks like this so I'll have an adapter down below for that. You could use that and that takes it over or your computer may have an HDMI port so you can plug the cable directly in and the HDMI cable just works its way over to the back of the TV and you can see it plugs into one of the HDMI ports on the TV and then I can take my TV and just switch it to the channel or the input for the HDMI that I plug into. So you can see this is actually a pretty simple setup where you can see a lot of people in the room from a distance. A lot of fun if you're doing it with your family and also great for when you're in the office. So you'll be able to find the links down below to anything that I talked about in this video and also I've got a video up here about uh, doing this with an iPhone. So if you want to hook up your iPhone to your TV, I've got a video for that. And also down here, I've got a video where I talk more about um, how to use Zoom on the way back to the office after COVID. So where you've got people who are in the office and people who are still on Zoom, how to combine those together, best, uh, best practices and technology. 